Hey guys, and welcome to another Divi WooCommerce tutorial by the team here at Divi Engine. My name is Roby, and today I'm going to show you how to import some sample products into your WooCommerce install. Now, we've all been there, right? We are working through an awesome tutorial, maybe even one you did here with Divi Engine, on how to customize something like your checkout page, maybe it's your product page, or any of the archive pages like your shop page, category page, with empty databases. So you're not getting to see that instant gratification of the work that you're doing. And the reason is you might maybe still be waiting on a client to get product files to you, that type of thing. But we're going to solve that problem today so that we can get that work done, get through more awesome tutorials so we can all become WooCommerce and Divi experts. Now, little known fact is that WooCommerce actually comes with a bunch of sample data for you. And all you need to do is go ahead and download the WooCommerce install, even if you have it installed already on your, on your uh, in, uh, WordPress install. We want to make sure that we get that file so we can pull out the CSV file. Now, there are other ways to get that CSV file. You can FTP into your active install, but this one's a little bit easier that is more accessible for most of us. So when we look at a WooCommerce page right now, our shop page, nothing there because we have no products. So we're going to kick off by downloading the latest install for WooCommerce. So for that, we head over to the WordPress website. It's WordPress.com. Forward slash, oh, sorry, WordPress.org forward slash plugins forward slash WooCommerce. And then what we want to do is hit this download button on the right hand side. Now, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to cancel that. But you just save it in a spot where you can easily access it again. This is important because in the next step, we're going to want to re extract that um, zip file that we just downloaded. So for me, I just downloaded it into a WooCommerce folder. So for me, I'm going to use my archiver bundled with my Mac OS, easily extracts the file. You, if you're on Windows, use WinRAR, WinZip, or whatever you're using, no big deal here. Now, just for our interest sake, we can open up this WooCommerce folder, and there you see a sample data folder embedded within it. When we open that up, we see three files sampleproducts.csv, sampleproducts.xml, and then also some sample tax rates in case you're not utilizing WooCommerce services. But that's maybe another topic we can cover in the future to help you uh, get those taxes in the system before the uh, government hunts you down. We don't want that. Anyway, so there we have that. Now, for the next step, we want to go to our WordPress install where we will navigate to the products page. And on the products page, since we have no products, it's going to actually ask us to either create a product or import. We want to hit that import button. And on the next screen, very easily and straightforwardly, we're going to choose that file that we downloaded. So for me, it's in my WooCommerce folder. Going back to that sample data subfolder. And I am going to double click here on my sample products CSV file. We don't need to mess with anything else here right now. Click continue. Now this is the mapping screen. If you have a different CSV file from a different source, sometimes you need to map out these columns within the CSV file to the fields that correspond within the WooCommerce database. We're, we're not going to mess with that today. Um, maybe we'll do another short tutorial in the future on how we can utilize different types of CSV files that are formatted differently and get those products imported into WooCommerce itself. But we're just going to hit that run the importer and hopefully this goes nice and quickly. My internet has been a little dodgy today, but no, that went very easily. It says import complete. We can actually go and immediately view the products and there they are with the images, descriptions, some of them are variable. And even if we go back here and we refresh our shop page now, we have all of our products listed here. So now we are free to go ahead and do some other awesome tutorials on how to make this shop page maybe look a bit better. I don't know, using a product like Body Commerce, you know, for example. Um, you'll also find some other great tutorials here on the website if you check in the blog section. Hopefully this little tidbit was interesting for you and helpful. And let us know in the comments if there's uh, anything else that you would like us to cover and um, any feedback always welcome. Thanks guys.